I get that there's a lot of things to learn in your business and marketing is this never ending game that honestly just keeps changing. So that's what I wanna simplify for you today. In this episode, I'll share some things that I know about marketing your business online and the pros and cons of the two different directions that you really can go down with marketing. So if you are currently marketing for your business online, you are either doing it organically or doing it my favorite way with paid advertising. Although these two methods, they definitely overlap. The main difference is that you are either paying the app to boost your business or you are doing the free methods. Depending on people's knowledge, depending on their marketing budget and how quickly they really want to grow, they'll choose one over the other. I find those newbie entrepreneurs who don't have necessarily a business background, they usually start with the free marketing versions because they're either super unaware of the paid side or they haven't even considered a marketing budget just yet. If that's you, let me just say you do have to spend money to make money. You got to invest, which is super uncomfortable, but honestly, you're going to get used to it as you go especially since the return on investment and all the data that you need to know really in order to decide how much you need to spend to make X dollars is literally right in front of you with the online marketing. And honestly, that's why I love the digital world so much. It literally tells you exactly what is working and what isn't working within your business. Now on the flip side are those who started out more like I did. You focus on the paid side right off the bat because you either know the benefits or you're already successful and you have the budget when you start to jump into the online world. Those people, they do tend to forget about their organic marketing side of things though, the free side of things. They simply think they don't need it or they're just not paying attention. I was like this for the first few years of my business. I drove a lot of traffic through paid advertising and I was getting good results, so I didn't really look anywhere else to grow my business. Why fix something that isn't broken, right? I was wrong. Yes, I was wrong to have that mentality. In fact, both sides of the puzzle, they're not correct if you're using one over the other. If you're looking to hit certain levels within your business, in my opinion, both the paid and the organic marketing have a place in time to use them. At the end of the day, though, it really depends on your goals and focuses for your business at that particular time. So let me explain these two a lot more in depth. Let's start off with organic marketing and then I'm going to compare it with paid marketing for you just so you get the gist of both of them. Okay, so organic marketing, it's really a slow and steady approach to marketing. It's basically where all of your consistent content really starts to come into play. So that's being active on social media, engaging with other people's accounts, using hashtags, jumping on trends such as reels. It also focuses on blogs, SEO, and the content that essentially will live in the online world for as long as you can imagine or until you delete it. You will not see a drastic impact on your business right away but it's an important piece to focus on. So let me give you a few examples. The first one is something that most of us do if we're already using social media, that's your genuine social media posts. All the posts you put out on social media are examples of organic marketing. It's as simple as that. Sometimes you may not even be advertising your business or product or service. It could even be as simple as a post about your morning routine. As long as it's on your business account, It's essentially an organic ad for something. It could be an ad for your product, your business, your brand. The second example is a blog post. So this one is very tricky and really only works well if you are a great writer and if you understand SEO best practices. These blog posts would usually be about your business and really a topic that your audience would want to know. So for example, for you, with every YouTube and podcast episode that I do, I post a blog to go along with it. Let's say that you are a realtor. You could have a blog about your industry and tell people what to watch out for when they're searching for their dream home. In that blog, you would have hyperlinks to your business website and that's where people can click on it. They'll land on your website and they'll be able to book meetings with you or learn more about your business. It could be that easy. This kind of marketing, it works well if people are searching for that problem that you can solve on Google specifically. They would see that blog that you've written on solving that problem, and then it would help them be able to contact you. 
Now, of course, to make this work, like I said, you have to understand the basics of search engine optimization since your primary target is people who search on Google. How do you get to the top of Google? Another thing you could do is have guest blog posts, which are blogs written by knowledgeable people contributing to your blog. Now, I personally don't do this one, but it is a great idea to drive more traffic to your blog. There's also user generated content, which is an efficient aspect of content marketing. So user generated content in this context, it means content that your users made about your product or service. For example, let's say that you're a life coach. You could ask your client to post about their experience, post about the testimonials that they have of you and post about the transformation that they had. These types of content really make things stand out because it's coming from a different voice than yours. Now, people may not always believe what you're saying because you are biased towards your own business. You're never going to speak bad about your business. But others talking about your business or your service or your offer, that's where it's really incredible. And lastly, we have email marketing. Now, although I prefer growing your email list through paid ads, you can also grow it organically. On the other hand of marketing, so with paid marketing, it pretty much could all be the exact same aspects that what I just listed for you, but the main difference is now you are paying to play. To really break down the difference, let's just start comparing the two for you. And let's start off with what the actual purpose of organic marketing is and paid marketing is. So for organic marketing, the answer to this one is really simple. Organic marketing is supposed to generate warm traffic to your website and your social media accounts. It's a slow and steady approach. I wanna say organic marketing is just a way to get a lot of eyeballs on your possible product or your brand or your service. Now, this is also where you're starting to build that solid foundation that over time will do wonders for your business. But like I said, it's the slow and steady approach versus paid. With paid, you can go as fast as you want to based on your goals and your budget. As long as you have a budget behind you, you know the ins and outs of paid advertising, you can essentially reach millions of people overnight and get them to take an action you want them to take. But the biggest thing I need to get across with paid marketing is that just because you place an ad one day does not mean you'll be rich overnight. There has been so many entrepreneurs that say that to me. You just have to be patient with paid advertising. It will come. I personally love paid advertising, which is honestly where I've always put my focus. And I did that from the very start. They are super, super powerful, but it's not as easy as clicking that boost or sponsor button that you see on Facebook and Instagram. Please don't click that button. The power behind it is really that you can target exactly who you want to attract into your business and get them to take the specific action that you want them to take, aka become a lead, purchase something, register for an event, whatever the case may be for your business. Facebook, Instagram, social media knows how we interact with their platforms. Now, the main difference between organic and paid is that with organic marketing, you are consistently coming up with new posts and marketing materials. It's that ongoing process. With paid, you can use the same post or ad for years as long as it's converting the way you want it to. And the stats will tell you exactly how it's performing. Another great way to really look at the differences if you are debating where to start is by looking back to your current goals for your business. If you want to grow a solid foundation, if you want to attract a warm audience and increase your brand awareness, organic marketing is the place to start for you, especially if you don't have a marketing budget. But if you want to convert your audience to take action with your business outside of just consuming your free content, paid is the way to go. If you are at the point where you can combine both of them, that's where things really, really skyrocket for you. Your organic content is going to help you continuously be in the eyes of your audience and start to build that trust even deeper. Your paid marketing is going to help you boost the back ends in terms of your internal investment, get your revenue moving or growing your email list and reaching an even bigger audience. I'm curious though, where are you planning to start or actually where have you been putting your focus so far? Send me a message on social media. You can find me at Lisa Ann Coaching. I could honestly talk about this stuff all day long. But at the end of the day, what I really want you to take away from today's episode is that there are two options for you to market your business in the online world. You have the organic marketing, which is the slow and steady but free version. 
Or you have the paid marketing, which is the pay to play. Start scaling, start growing your business fast version. Where you start is 100% up to you, but at the end of the day, you'll want to eventually combine both of them. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at any time. I'm always here to help. But regardless, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, rest of your week, and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.